What the horizontal line test tests for is if the inverse of a graph or the inverse of an equation is a function. So what you do is you take a horizontal line like this marker here and you scan from low to high like this and you see if the horizontal line crosses the graph at more than one point. So you can see here it's only crossing at once, 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 once. So this passes the horizontal line test. It means that the inverse of this graph will be a function. The vertical line test tests to see if this graph itself is a function and you can see that it would fail. It would be crossing at more than one point. But when you draw the horizontal line test, it tests to see if the inverse of this graph is a function, which it is. This one here, if we draw a horizontal line, as we scan from low to high, you can see it's crossing at more than one point. So that means that the inverse of this graph is not a function. This graph itself passes the vertical line test. This graph is a function, but its inverse would not be a function. Same thing here, horizontal line test it passes there, but you can see it fails there. So as we scan from low to high, take a horizontal line, if it crosses at more than one point, here you can see it's actually crossing at three, that fails the horizontal line test. It means that this graph, uh, its inverse is not a function. Just